Now, a case control study is where you take people who have the disease and do a detailed analysis of them and compare them to people who don't have the disease. So what I'm showing you here is one of the largest, most recent studies done, again in France, a national study, where they took, I think, 2,000 people with brain cancer and compared them to people who were the same age, the same socioeconomic status, but did not have the brain cancer, either the glioma, which is very malignant, or the meningioma, which is called a benign brain tumor. And again, all these slides are on our website. All of this information is available to those who want to look at it. And I want to bring your attention to the fact that on the bottom you see the cumulative duration of calls. And the cumulative duration of calls is telling you how, much, how many calls they had over their lifetime before they got diagnosed. And you can see that those after making 836 calls or more, the increase, that number of 2.4, they had twice as much glioma or meningioma as people who did not make that many phone calls. And this design in epidemiology is considered the best way of studying. And for glioma, the risk starts to increase starting at 327 hours. For, I'm um, sorry, for, uh, yeah, glioma, which is a very malignant, um, highly aggressive cancer. Do you know anyone who has it in this room? How many people know someone with glioma? And how many people think that cell phone radiation played a role in it? Well, um, I, see me after this talk um, and send an email to me at info at ehtrust.org. I would like to put this, your brain tumor people in touch with some lawyers who can help them because they are entitled, in my view, to compensation. Thank you.